Okay. All right, here we go. We got us a nice flattened out raised bed. Okay. Uh, like I said, about 70 feet long. We're going to get ready to make the rows for the garlic. This is going to be a soft neck, semi hard neck variety. Hold that camera for me a moment there, Caleb. Yes, sir. Thank you. That's uh, my son, Caleb, the cameraman. He, uh, he works for peanuts. <laughs> okay. Well, the idea is you want to come in about a foot in from where the end of the row is, roughly. Foot, 16 inches. You turn your grape hoe to the corner of the hoe, and all you do is you drag the dirt about all oh, two inches deep something like that okay then you put just a little bit of a space and drag again just again just like that okay every six eight ten inches we're not really counting just as long as they look fairly consistent they don't have to be perfectly straight but uh you know are perfectly two inches deep because we're going to mulch this again with some straw you want to leave enough room in between your your drags or your rows you want to leave enough room in there to to be able to you know weed and, and whatnot so you don't, you don't want them too tight put them a little bit farther apart they will uh they will produce a, a, a better ball there's, there's more room less competition for space uh, you'll get a, a better quality bulb uh, in the process. So what, that's what we're doing. Caleb, okay, you want to get a good shot of this close up uh, of the rails that I'm digging? Go ahead, come on, follow me, buddy. Let's go. He's still a, an apprentice cameraman, as y'all can see. This is not a professional video channel. Uh, we're just down to earth people. What you see is what you get. Uh, and uh, that's exactly uh, how you do it, folks. It's not hard at all. The matter of fact, the hardest part is already done. The tedious part is putting the bulbs in. It seems like you're never gonna get done. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we're gonna go ahead and finish this row and uh, we'll come back with the garlic in the next part and we're going to plant some and uh so i'm looking forward to doing it and uh appreciate it hope y'all get a good idea on how to go about doing this it's really not that difficult like i said before uh this type of a bed system you can do anything with it you can plant onions you can plant watermelons you can plant sweet potatoes beautiful big sweet i grow six seven pound sweet potatoes using this type of a, of a hilling system irish potatoes greens cabbage squash anything you want to plant you can plant in this bed and this bed will always treat you well and that's why i always have good success with it uh, and it's because of the less uh, amount of soil compaction or least amount of soil compaction you're going to get soil compaction but you want with a raised bed you're not going to get as hard as you would on the flat ground so it's always an advantage to raise the bed to raise the dirt up it's a little extra labor uh, but in the end your yield should be about double what they would be if i'd uh, put like a little hiller behind the rototiller and planted you know in in that kind of a of a hill so okay i'll see you on the next video shalom